that we have our daylight saving time when we tick over into it as we get further into summer and you're waking up and it's like, wow, the sun has been up for a long time. We should adjust the clocks to make that work. But it doesn't, not everyone likes it as we've just established, okay? okay but then how, I don't really know what my question is, but how is there like- How does this change? Well, how is, how do they change at different times kind of? Because I get it. Because if you have the whole map, mm -hmm. then there we go. I don't know. I'll, I'll get up. <laughs> Think about how you want to articulate that question in a second. But I am going to come back to you. Just have a look over the map again. There are some really weird and unusual things if you start to look a bit closer. Um, so basically speaking, each color is a time zone. Um, do you notice the lines are all wiggly and wonky? Why do you think that is? They're not all straight. Like they're straight in some portions, but then they kind of all curve around. What do you think, you did here? Yeah, exactly right. For certain parts, certain countries. If, for example, we have a look at Africa, you can see you've got this, um, here's, here's Greenwich Mean Time or Coordinated Universal Time, zero. But then as you move east, this is plus one, this section. Um, these guys are plus two and this is plus three. So it makes sense that even though this line goes this way and it goes up to the top, if you're halfway through Algeria, you're just like walking across, you're like, oh no, my clock, right? So everywhere in Algeria is the same time zone, okay? Um, and that principle of taking a country and sort of, you know, having a single time zone uh, is something which is taken to its extreme over here, okay? So who's lived in China before? Hands up. One, two, just two. Okay, that's all right. So have a look. All of China, all of China is plus eight. Now just have a look at the overall map. Have a look at the overall map. You can see plus eight down here. Um, Philippines and Malaysia, that kind of thing. The plus eight comes from Beijing. Right? There's the capital, okay? But quite some time ago, the Chinese government decided, okay, we're all going to be on Beijing time. All of China is on Beijing time. What issues might that cause if the entire country, China's big, is on Beijing time? Yeah, what do you reckon? The country, like the city is on like, the really far near to India, Kazakhstan, yep. which is going to be fine. And just wake up every night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, it's really weird over here in the western part of China. So in fact, this city here, Urumqi, is marked because it's a very large city. Um, in Urumqi, during winter, you know how we're used to the sun rises later yeah. in winter? What time do you think it rises in winter, roughly? Uh, For us, I mean. Uh, I, I reckon it's somewhere between six and seven, uh, maybe more toward the seven end of things. Um, in summer, in Urumqi, the sun rises around 10 because in fact it's, you know, it's, that's actually the time over here, 10 o'clock. So there it's like well into mid-morning, but because they're so far away, look, it's like plus six over here and plus 10 over there, a four hour difference that other countries recognize, but from one part of China to the next, uh, it's all plus eight, right? Um, but not all countries do this. Um, if you have a look over here, the US famously, because they've got also a similar landmass. How many time zones are there across the US? One. Yeah, there are four, you can see them there. Um, you've got, uh, I think we call this Eastern time, um, and then they call this Pacific time, right? So if you've seen PST as like an abbreviation, if you like to watch US shows or anything like that, sometimes they'll put that there. Um, and then you've got Central time as well in the middle. So these are really interesting to me. You've got all kinds of other weird sorts of things. Uh, one last question. Let's go back to the simplified map here. One last question we haven't dealt with uh, is this guy. What is this? The dateline. Okay, what's the dateline about? Why is it there? Hmm. What do you reckon, Enve? Basically, if the line goes one way, one side, they're showing how the time is different yep. to another place where it's like straight. Yeah, yeah. So what we want is let's just go back to um, let's go back to here. Zip, zip, zip. We want everywhere on the planet to exist within the same 24-hour period, right? Now, in fact, I'm getting on a plane on Sunday, and I'm going to Perth. So I'm going uh, two hours backwards, right? Um, backwards, as it were. So if I, if I leave at, in fact, my flight is at 
8.30 on Sunday morning. So 8.30 on Sunday morning, we're going to take off and my plane is going to immediately say, oh, it's actually 6.30 in Perth time. So the plane immediately changes to the local time of the destination. Now think about this. Imagine if I just started flying and just like kept going, right? It's like, do I keep on winding my clock back forever? Can I just like go into the past, into last week? And the answer is, no, no you can't. Because what happens when you pass the dateline? The time just goes forward by 25. Yeah, it's the same time on the clock, but it's a different day. So actually you would flip forward a day as you transfer from here to here. Does that make sense? Um, it's why if you have a look at where we are and where the dateline is, we are one of the very first, in fact, we're probably the you know, biggest major city to celebrate New Year's every single year. Yeah, they're the major, they're the first major country to, to describe, well, uh, Japan is here, I think. So New Zealand's, uh, yeah, a good, like, hour before them. Okay, last question, Louise. Um, to go back, so to speak, in time, right? Yep. So where do you go east? Um, to go back? Yeah, because I mean, like, what's the closest one to have a sort of... So, so as you go this way, you go forward, but once you pass the dateline, you're going to go into the previous day. Because think about it this way, okay? Let's think about, uh, in fact, and this is a very, like, you'll be able to look up online tools to help you with this, but it's a very literal problem. I was trying to do um, uh, Skype. I was trying to teleconference with someone in... Um, where was he? Where does he live? California, which I think is around here, right? Now, because I was trying to line up, I was looking at my calendar and I was trying to line up times with him and I realized that I was talking about a different day to what he was talking. My hour, I should say, 8 a.m. for our time, was his 1 p.m. the previous day, right? So as you travel this way, you're mostly going forward in time on the clock, but once you pass the line, bam, 24 hours immediately goes backward, okay? So it is weird and unusual. So I say it again. Oh, you mean if you just kind of um, ho hover here? Um, I think the answer is you get really confused. So, which by the way, which by the way, is why the line whips around, right? So that it avoids major land masses and countries. Yeah. Um, well, this international date line here, if you have a look at this land mass over here, it's that same land mass. So they've just expanded it so you can see it from both perspectives, from an eastward perspective and a westward one. Okay.